We are in the middleweight division. This fight, all thanks to Global Nutrition, our blue corner. Weighing in at 84.4 kilos, his fight record, two fights, two wins. He trains at the Adrenaline MMA gym, hailing from Melbourne, Victoria, Ben Shellam. In the red corner, he weighed in at 84.2 kilos. Two wins from three fights. He trains under Paul Stoiler at the Southside MMA Arena. Jerome Faremo. The middleweights are going to bring the boom. It's straight away. Shellam makes no qualms about the fact that he wants to take this one to the ground. Into the post. Really deep in that single. Trying to change into a, a double. But fantastic defense from Faramo. He's able to turn it around. faramo has got a really strong wizard here. He does. And he's using it really well. He's, he's dragging up that leg. Trying to get uh, Shellam off balance there and get him to the ground. Beautiful display. I mean, just straight into it. These middleweight boys looking like a couple of featherweights. They're not mucking around. This really is a battle of balance and a battle of strength here. So you can see, let's see if uh, Faramo can get this throw away and he misses the opportunity there. But a nice sort of switch back there from Shellam. Yeah, a deep underhook from uh, from Faramo, which could dictate the position. He's sort of losing it and there. He's as up on a high single. Yeah. Charging to and the other side of the cage. <laughs> on his tiptoes with those fairy feet. Solid balance there from Faramo. That was incredible, and he's a big boy. Look at that wide stance. That is incredibly hard to take someone down with a double. Smart. Shellam goes into the single leg there. Absolutely working. These shots are landing, by the way. Shellam needs to be a little bit careful here. Yeah, he, he might blow his wad out. This is like trying to lift weights, but the weights are fighting back. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're punching in the face. Faramo gets rid of the head control. I think Suffering some of the these shots, yeah, sorry. I think some of these shots are really getting to shell on you. He's starting to cover up. He's starting to shy away. Faramo just happy to keep his base spread apart, defend, and hopefully wear shell him out. A He's few of these not takedowns. up on that, is he? Yeah, a few of these takedowns have been real desperation. It's sort of a modified switch there from Faramo. Going to the Kimura grip. He's given up on it. He's going for the guillotine. Oh, very risky. And he, he swaps it out. Smart man. Shellam's Shell going to look to press his hip on the inside here, but Faramo's not having any of it. No. So he's going to lift him up. Very, very calm here from Faramo. I mean, it's very hard to tell, one, how deep is the gas tank of Shellam, and two, how much of this has he been efficient and how much has it burned away? I mean, we'll find out. This is just the first round of the fight. Still, really, really strong defense. Still driving and just, just sticking on it. I mean, yeah. Neither of the boys have sort of seemed to gas too hard yet. Switches to a single again. Goes to the outside leg. Straight back on it. Shalom is just on the tools, isn't he? He's going to work. There's the switch. Faramo choosing to use the switch. And he uses it to, to create a scramble. And he takes the back of Shalom. Possibly a very tired Shalom. I mean, he blew a lot of that energy out. Shalom in a really compromised position. Tries to go for the suplex there. Drags him down. Comes out on top. Back. Be careful of the neck here, Jake. Yeah. Very smart going to strike. And that's the end of the first round. I mean, whoa. Incredibly offensively minded grappling attack from Shellam. But Faramo just defended it. Got some strikes off and then managed to turn the grappling around. Well, as you mentioned earlier, Shellam is under Chris Brown and with such wrestling pedigree in their camp, it's, it's not surprising that he was able to stay on those exchanges for the whole round pretty much. That's a great point. The face of Shellam there, just showing a little bit of wear and tear. Those gloves, they can rub on the skin. You can take it apart. A few of those are definitely from a few shots. There's a bit of trauma there. Ramo, looking sprightly as ever. Defended the takedown, fought him off. He's got the eye of the tiger. Seconds down. Don't forget to check out nightcraftbombers.com.au.
You can design your own custom bike and watch the team at Nightcraft Bobbers bring it to life. Nightcraftbobbers.com.au Second round. Shellam electing to throw a high kick. Dives straight into the takedown. Makes no bones about it. And a really There's deep a guillotine. guillotine. Here. He's under the chin. Foremo is. He's lifting him up. Oh, and Shellam wow. just muscles out of it and throws him down. Again, wrestling shows through. Yeah, pressing against the cage is Shellam yet again. Shades of the first round. Like you said earlier, Jake, Foreno's got a really wide stance. It's very, very hard to take down from this position. You'd probably like to see Shellam switch to a single at this point, but he goes to the double again, and he and he proves me wrong. Yeah, Fantastic he, effort. He, he pays off. I mean, we saw a lot of uh, uh, him getting negated in the first round. He comes out in the second and says, let me have another crack at it. So here we go now. He's going to look to take a dominant position. He's trying to control the hip foot. Again, Foremo doing a really good job of framing on the head and, yeah. and pushing him down below the hips there, trying to get to his feet. He probably wants to look to bring one leg out at a time here. It's, it's quite difficult to bring the both out. It does. It's almost like climbing a tree here. He's trying to get to a dominant position, but the tree's just pushing your head down. I mean, how far can you climb? He's got one leg over here, so he's probably looking to set a hook. Yeah, it's a much more dominant position. Foremo's got to watch out. He, he doesn't give up his back here. That's an old school almost headlock. If the cage wasn't there, he'd be in a lot of strife. Not in a great position here. Let's, no. Let's see if Shellen can do some work. He needs to start to do some damage, or, or Pete, Pete Hickman's going to look to stand him up. I mean, he's really fighting for Amo is to just negate that mount, but it looks like 99% of a mount to me. The grip battle is everything for Amo here. Shellum postures up and starts raining strikes down. It is going to be a really, really bad night for Foremo. I was just going to say that, Jake. I wonder whether he's going to look to posture and punch, but he's taken the back there. He's got one hook, two hooks in. He's going to look to flatten him out. He's a little bit high. He's a little bit high. Foremo is probably going to look to shake him off. There we go. We can see the hip wobble there. He's smart to do so. By tripoding like that, Foremo is getting rid of a lot of that weight and putting it on Shellum to be able to use his hamstrings to just hold on for dear life. Otherwise, he gives up the position. Breaks down for Ramo. Tell this is a position that Shellum is very, very familiar with. Yeah. A little high, as he said. He's, he's, at, he's at risk of being shaken off here. One of those hooks is very, very loose. But he maintains. Whew, that's a big boy on top of you. Middleweights, like we said. And he's flattening him out here, Jake. Awful spot here for Foremo. And right as he senses the strikes were coming, he boosts back up into a turtle position. I mean, just a really dominant position here from Shellen. Into the final 20 seconds. Takes the back of Foremo. Awful spot to be. Hitting him with strikes here. I mean, with 10 seconds left, you can't think that there'd be a submission. Stranger things have happened, but Shellen might just try to grind him out here. Go into the third round. Very, very confident. Leaving Shellen a little bit dazed. Again, I think we're heading into the third round with, a, with an undecided fight. Yeah. It could go to either man at this point. I'm calling it one apiece. Foremo looking a little bit dishevelled. I mean, we were talking about how he looked after the first round. He had the eye of the tiger. He was pumped. He wasn't even sitting down. Now, looking a little worse for wear. Shellum was able to get off his game plan. I definitely think he's got a lot more respect for his opponent at this point. Seconds down. Big thanks to all our sponsors tonight, including the team at Fight Life. Proudly sponsoring the KO of the night, Global Nutrition sponsoring our submission of the night and building industry training for our fight of the night. Third and final round. Shellum Foremo into the third round. You can tell Foremo knows that he gave that round away. Looking a little worse for wear, not just in the damage sustained, but in the cardio department. These boys are swinging. You could feel the earth move KSI yeah. at that time. <laughs> Absolutely. Back into a grappling exchange in the 50-50 position. One boy has an underhook each. Oh, Shellum with that wrestling pedigree. Used it to turn him back. into the cage. Yeah. The cage is actually saving for Amo here from giving his back up. Shellum, you can see him trying to work around to it. Down into a single with the head on the outside. 
That right leg of Faramo. He tries to hit the switch again, and he does. We could have a scramble here. Shellum with that dominant wrestling comes out on top. Some of the energy just seems to be sapped a little bit from Frono at this point. Let's Absolutely. see if he can find a little bit more gas. Yeah, you're not wrong. Shellum trying to step up, up in the mount. He's up. Faramo uses it to get up to his feet. Shellum not in a strong position when he's on his knees like that, but he's up again now. Looks to suck the hips in, as you can see there. Takes the dominant position. Yeah, he tries to triangle the legs here. Yeah, very smart, very Shades smart. Shades of a little fella called Khabib Nurmagomedov going in that dominant triangle on the low mount. He'd be very happy you said that, Jake. Yeah, <laughs> that's high praise. The actual headlock there from Faramo is keeping Shellum from posturing up and raining down strikes. He's in a lot of trouble. Back down from the cage, which means he cannot wall walk. Wall walk meaning that he gets his butt and he's parallel with the cage and gets up from there. Again, let's see if he looks to posture and, uh, posture and punch. He seems to want to grind out and keep nice and close to his opponent. Yeah, sure. With one minute left, he better work. If he doesn't want to punch and he wants to go for a submission, right as I say that, he postures up. Here we go. Uh, Faramo giving up his back again. Shellum going to that, that, that hooks in position. Yeah. Looking to sink one under the chin, and he looks to have sunk it in here, Jake. This looks like a choke. Out. Another rear naked choke we might have on our hands. We can't see from here, but it looks to be under the chin. Oh, Faramo fights it off. Just slipping off the back a little bit there. He wants to square up. And here we go. Really dominant position from Shellum up on top. Shellum wants to soften him up again. Yeah. You can tell he wants that chin. Faramo's prospects of winning this fight are dwindling by the second, especially with only half a minute left. Shellum working. Picking his shots really nicely. Yeah, absolutely. Each one of these is a middleweight. Just and here we go. Back under the chin, are we? Again, we can't quite see from our vantage point. Peter Hickmont with the best seat in the house. From where we can see, it looks like that that might be up on the shoulder. It could be under the chin, and Faramo fights it off. If nothing else, Faramo is really composed in these, these really stressful situations. He's flattened out. Oh, has, And that's a submission victory for Shellam. Was that one second left, or was that, was that going to a decision? Shellam acting here like he got the submission. I think he might have just got it with maybe two seconds left. I think you're right there, mate. I think we might have another finish on our hands. Woo! Look, either way, it, it seemed to me that it was going Shellum's way. It was a really, really dominant second half of that second round and, and obviously that third round. He, he really put on a clinic. Visibly um, just fatigued here after the fight. Here we look at some takedowns. Faramo trying to defend, but Shellum just absolutely going to work. He's wearing all of his weight here. And these exchanges just wearing Faramo down. He's only human. Uh, with four seconds remaining in the third and final round, our referee Pete Hickmont has stopped the fight. It's a tap out due to a rear naked choke. And our winner, put your hands together for Ben Shellum. Wow. Get right with you. I'm gonna get and there right you have it. We call it with dying seconds Whoa. left. Get right with you.